What up guys, Elaine here from learntobitcoin.co.za and today we're going to be talking about mining. Uh, specifically, we're going to be mining Ethereum and Sciacoin. As you can see here, ETHSC, uh, those are the two different coins currently being mined by my AMD GPU. Um, you can see the speeds there and everything. So to get you guys started, um, I want you to open up your web browser and go over to eth.nanopool.org forward slash help. Uh, the link will be in the description. So as you can see here, uh, this is the getting started page. I just want to say guys that there are a few different pools that uh, are mining. So this is just the one that I'm choosing for this video. Uh, I find it to be quite simple and easy to set up. The way that they've laid out all the sign up things is uh, quite nice. So. To get started, the following is a quick start guide of mining Ethereum on Windows 7 or greater 64-bit. Um, to mine Ethereum, you need a GPU, which is a graphics card, 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Ethereum account, which you can set up. If you go check out one of my older videos, how to set up an Exodus wallet, that can be your Ethereum account. So you got that, uh, a GPU miner, which is what we're going to download over here. Uh, the graphics card must have at least four gigabytes of memory. So luckily my graphics card does, and they recommend AMD GPU driver 15.12. So you can head over to the AMD drivers to find that and download that. If you have the graphics card, that is uh, compatible with it. So your account can be obtained in several ways. Yes, you can go to an exchange and make an account or you can open up an Exodus wallet, uh, which is quite simple and easy. Just make sure you back everything up, guys. Um, and the miner can be downloaded from the link below. So boom, I click that and the Claymore Dual Ethereum miner is downloaded. So that can wait there for the time being. So next thing you can do is generate your config file so this is basically the mining software and for it to run into your specific computer and your wallet details and everything you're just going to click here and set this up so i'm on windows uh, amd is my graphics card the rig one i can leave that just as default it's basically just a label for my computer if i have more than one computer mining but i don't uh, i can leave the main server to the defaults obviously we're going to be mining ethereum not ethereum classic so now here address for first algorithm so this is a dual miner where do you want your ethereum to be mined to so you go to your exodus wallet you get your receive code and you copy that you can just click there and you put your your ethereum receive address here boom there we go i've done that so your second algorithm we're going to be mining Sciacoin, not Pascal coin or none. Go ahead and select that. This is a local wallet. It seems to be defaulting to local wallet, which is fine. Um, I have a local wallet here. If you can go check out one of my older videos, it uh, shows you how to set up a Sciacoin wallet. Super simple. The thing that takes long is for it to synchronize. But basically, you just hit receive on Sciacoin and you copy that. Control C. Okay, go here, put my Sciacoin receive wallet here, and I'm not going to click anything else. So I go generate, boom, and it downloads my configurations with my wallets, all my details, right there. So now if I go, there's my, in, my, my config file that I just downloaded, I've pasted it into my the folder with that I downloaded uh, my mining software so once you downloaded your mining software that we did first you just extract that it's in my downloads folder so I extracted it there and then I've pasted the the config file just there just for storage sake so I extracted the config file there's the extraction I cut the contents out of the config file and just overwrote the files in here so now my config file which I downloaded has merged with the with the mining software and I double click start uh, once you double click start this will pop up 
it'll do a few initial checks so it's saying blah de blah de blah it just does all a bit of that and then it starts to starts to mine and you'll see it'll start giving ups and downs and ups and downs and faster and slower um, right now we can see oh, just trying to get it there it's at a dip right now but it'll go up and down so now you're mining now now where are your coins you know people seem to not understand the rest of the of how this works so your mining your wallet address excuse me um, is basically your way to track your your mining progress so if you go to eth.nanopool.org forward slash account and then you paste your your wallet receive address so the one that we did for ethereum we paste that there it'll give us the details on our calculated hash rate uh, averages and our current balance of how much we've mined so far so that's a way for you to track your ethereum and it says here minimum payout is 0 0.2 ether so i'm not going to see a a payout until there's a number two right over there so i've got a bit of a way to go i'm still early days here with SiaCoin, you can go to sia.nanopool.org forward slash account and then forward slash your SiaCoin receive address. Know that when you hit receive every time here, it refreshes the address. Well, it gives you another address. So just remember or take notes of, uh, of what your address is. Um, otherwise, or you can always go check in the config file if you if you have refreshed it already and you are unsure. So then you go and paste that there, check out your, your hash rate there, check out your hash rate there, and then once you've reached this threshold, you'll be able to, to start uh, receiving funds into your Ethereum and your Sitecoin wallet. So guys, hopefully this is the information that you need to get you started. Uh, I know it can get confusing. There are a lot of different videos um, saying different ways that require you to, you know, edit the notepad files and things like that. This way I find is just the easiest, you know, okay, in a, in a summary, you download Claymore Miner, you generate your config file, you extract that, you extract that and paste the extraction into this folder and then you hit start and then you start mining easy as that one two three guys um, if this helped you go ahead and give us a, a thumbs up we really appreciate the, the support um, hopefully this gets you guys mining um, if you do start mining after this video Please leave a comment, leave a like, let us know what your hash rates are, how many coins you've been mining, have you been mining before you saw this video, we would love to hear are there any ways to improve possibly our hash rates um, and our speeds and everything like that. It's, uh, it'll be great to hear and improve and when I hear of anything, any ways to optimize, I'll definitely be uploading videos to, to show you all how you can better mine your coins so guys thank you very much for watching um please like comment subscribe if this helped you in any way and yeah have a great day further cheers